Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a little haul for us. I have been waiting for all three packages to arrive before I go ahead and unbox them. So if you are curious what's in front of me, let's get right into it. the freely noted and the sterling ink pocket size in the pink colors that they do offer and I just think they are so adorable I am very happy with this purchase now let's move on to the next one so similar and yet so different. So there's less pages in the Freely Noted than there is in the Sterling Ink. And what I have is a salty Katie glitter 
cover that I ordered off her Etsy shop for the Sterling Ink. And then I also had the Freely Noted by Lauren for this Freely Noted notebook, which I think has 400 or so sheets in here. They are not numbered, but in the Sterling Ink, the pages are numbered. And I just ordered these because I have been in love with the idea of keeping a pocket notebook. I did have one this year. It was the Moleskine, and I just really wanted to try out these different brands and see which one I liked the most. So looking at these, they're both very similar, and I love the, f like, even though it's Tamoe River paper, the Freely Noted definitely feels nicer in my hands than the sterling ink and the only reason I think the difference is due to how many more pages sterling inks has so I think it just feels lighter and more user friendly just because it's literally lighter than sterling inks maybe it's also because the covers are definitely different so I'm sure that has something to do with it but I am just nitpicking at this point. I love both these pocket notebooks. I have really just been enjoying my A6 Lutrum these days, and I'm using it for the entire month of August. So I look forward to using the Sterling Ink and Freely Noted in the near future. So stay tuned. I'll be doing another video on my A6 flip through, and I am so excited to show you. Thank you guys for being here and have a great weekend. Bye!